I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List and I just spent way too much money at Trader Joe's because I went hungry and I spent $204. So we're gonna go through these four bags. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. This is a fall haul. This is an everything haul because when you go to Trader Joe's hungry, this happens. And I also forgot my bags. So anyways, let's jump in. Okay, I went to Trader Joe's very hungry today um, and it just escalated as I was shopping. I got more and more hungry and as my hunger continued to go on, I continued to buy more and more and more and now I have four bags and I also forgot my bags. So don't leave me with the comments about the bags because I forgot them, people, that happened. Okay, what did I buy today? Let's go through this. We got two lemony arugula basil salad kits. Lately I've been spending way too much money going out to eat and buying salads. And I'm like, why don't I just buy a salad kit? It's $3.99, I think. Maybe the price went up, who knows? So I got those. Um, I also picked up some things I usually don't buy, but again, I was hungry and so this is what happens. I got the healthy eight chopped veggie mix. I wanna try and make like an eggless scramble with this, kind of like a hash. Um, and then this is brand new, the Harvest Warm Bowl. I think I'm gonna eat this as soon as I'm done with this haul. This is new, Harvest Warm Ball Rice Blend Roasted Sweet Potatoes, Kale Apples and Sweetened Dried Cranberries with a Balsamic Maple Vinaigrette. Very um, seasonal and it reminds me kind of, um, it reminds me of sweet greens. If you guys have a sweet greens, it kind of like a warm bowl. Um, I got two of those. I picked up some, oh, some almond milk. <laughs> so I was hungry, so I'm, like, I'm gonna make pizza as soon as I get home, but I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna film first. Um, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I got like these pizza crusts. I'm not lying, I'm going to do I didn't buy this in this haul, but I'm gonna use these pizza crusts with the new artichoke spread. Well, sauce, the artichoke sauce, and then I'm gonna put the uncured pancetta on it and some freshly grated mozzarella cheese, and I'm gonna eat that. Um, I picked up more pumpkin spice hummus because I eat it with a spoon and just put it in my mouth because that's how I like it. Um, it could also go on a bagel if you wanted to eat it on a different vehicle other than a spoon. Um, this is the Fury Chicken Curry, this looked good. And also the reason I bought this, and I don't know if you guys have done this before, but while I was, um, sorry, while I was at Trader Joe's, one of the like crew members was clearly taking a break and he like walked up and like just grabbed like three of these to like take home. And I was like, it must be good if a crew member just like, without thinking. Like I kind of like watching people shop as well because when people just like beeline it to something, grab it and put it in with such confidence, I'm like, I'm here for that. That is what I want. So then I'll just go buy the same thing they bought because they were so confident buying it. That's kind of what happened there. Um, these are so good. I picked up more of them. This is the gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins. If you've not tried these, they are absolutely phenomenal. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. And Trader Joe's, if you're listening to this, please make um, an, a muffin mix where it's like one of the different kinds of gluten-free muffins because I would like a coffee crumb one and a chocolate one in this box. I just want the variety. So what I'm asking for is a variety box. Thank you. Trader Joe's has these new cookies, the chocolate chunk cookies with sea salt. And they're so, so good. I already ate half of them. And then I just sampled this one, which is the oatmeal coconut with raisins. And usually I'm not a fan of raisins in a cookie. I always want like a cookie to have um, chocolate in it, but these are phenomenal. The, the coconut cookies with raisins. The problem is these are really, really good. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna buy them again. Cause now I'm just gonna have to eat all these cookies. This is your reminder to get more dishwashing detergent. I also need liquid detergent, liquid soap. So I hope I remember that, I can't remember. Um, black olives, I think I'm gonna put these on the pizza I was just talking about. Lemon, grass, coconut body oil. This is great for after the shower, keeps your skin hydrated. Gentle, light, and aromatic. Moisturizes skin without being greasy. And then some tomatoes, yummy. What else? Oh, these are new, broccoli fries. Crispy, crunchy snacks. Broccoli fries. Um, also, I was supposed to go to Florida today, well, tomorrow, and there's a hurricane. So I was gonna take a vacation and now I can't go to, on vacation because there's a hurricane. Perfect timing. Um, these smell awful, by the way. I just opened the bag and it smells like a broccoli fart, which I think everyone knows what that smells like. It smells like when you have like <laughs> vegetables that are old 
and they kind of start to ferment, that's what these smell like. But they don't taste like a broccoli fart. <laughs> they kind of do, actually. Um, broccoli, rice bran oil, salt. I don't know. In terms of like a crisp of things that I would want, not loving these, but, and I love broccoli. I just, those aren't working for me right now. They are not working for me. I got two bags of the multi-seed savory rice crackers. These are like hit or miss, like Trader Joe's either has them or they don't. So I picked those up. Um, these are gonna be so fun. So you guys know the, the depressing little snowman hot chocolates that are like really fun, but like really sad at the same time because the snowman melts in your cup and it's like somewhat traumatic from your past. Anyways, I got the pumpkin ones, which I think will be way less traumatic. So it's similar, you put it in like hot water or hot milk and then it melts and then you get the little marshmallows that come out. So I picked these up. I think I'm gonna give them to my nieces because they like stuff like that. Oh, these are these are brand new. These um, little gowls, what are they called? They're $5.99 each, so kind of expensive, but like I spend money on these types of things. And then what do I do with them after the season? I'm gonna have to like find like a box or something to put them in, but they're really, really cute. Uh, this, I wanted to try this. This is spice cider. Why did it look good to me? Because it's just unfiltered apple juice, brewed spice blend, cinnamon cloves, allspice, orange peel, orange oil, lemon peel. So we're gonna try it. We are going to give this a sample. Oh, my little sample glass, isn't that cute? So let's dump it in. I, and the reason I like it and I read the ingredients is because there's no sugar added. It's all real apple juice. I love me some apples. And it reminds me of the video that's like, took my apple on a walk today. Like people take an apple with them and then they, they don't eat it. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's very nice. Very seasonal. At room temp, it's nice, but I would imagine if you like steamed it and you can add some whiskey or just no whiskey, but it is good. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. What else? Oh. Pumpkin spice chocolate covered espresso beans with a pumpkin spice blend. How many times did that say pumpkin spice? One, two, two, okay. I was just talking about these the other day. I'm not like a big fan of chocolate covered espresso beans or beans covered in things, but some people are, so keep that in mind. Mm. It's really good. I mean, it's got that pumpkin spice flavor. It also has the espresso bean flavor. So if you're like super extra and into pumpkin spice lattes, these might be perfect for you. Um, these are new. Apple caramels. I think they look like taffy. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they come in a bag in a bag. The number one ingredient is corn syrup, so super healthy guys. Just because they say apple. Um, yeah, corn syrup, milk, those are gonna taste good. I can already tell. I'm just gonna take a little bite. Looks like this. Okay. I love the caramel piece. I'm not the biggest fan of like artificial flavored things. Um, this tastes really like naturally flavored. Mm. <coughs> it's like sticking to my mouth. Um, not my favorite. <coughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Too much apple. <laughs> I don't have to drink this. Um, um, I don't want to spit it out. <laughs> and some people will really like that. It's not my thing. Oh, um, <laughs> um, no, there's <laughs> just so much apple right now. Mm. Ah, so I have a, a bag I'm taking to a food bank and these are, <laughs> they're gonna make their way in there. Um, okay, red pepper cranberry walnut dip. This is brand new, I wanna try it. I am curious what one would use this on, but I was thinking maybe add it to my warm harvest salad. I'm really having an issue right now. Oh, I did bring a knife over. Okay. I'm just going to try this with a little spoon. Hold on. Let me get my little spoon out. 
Okay. All right. It looks kind of like a, um, I'll show you. It's got like an interesting chunky texture. Hmm. I'm really trying to come back from that apple caramel thing. It's kind of spicy, very spicy. Red pepper, duh. Um, now the caramel's on the ground. I'm gonna pick that up. The ants would love that. Um, red pepper walnut cranberry dip. Hmm. It's very peppery. The cranberry is subtle. The walnut is what gives it that meaty texture. It's actually surprisingly really good. Um, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it that much, but that's that's really good. That would be great. You could put that on the, as a spread on a sandwich. Put it next to your turkey. I don't know. Could be could be a good one. I also picked up vegan tzatziki dip. Oh, way too much stuff, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Way too much stuff. Pumpkin butternut squash bisque because I wanted soup and it's 80 degrees out. Okay, this I'm not looking forward to trying. Vegan salmon-esque spread. Like, how are they gonna make it taste like salmon? So like an artificial fish flavor after the artificial apple flavor. Okay, we're gonna try it. A lot of ingredients, um, it contains soy. Okay, it has natural flavor in it, so we're gonna see if that's... <laughs> it's just like if it's vegan, it shouldn't taste like fish, so. Ooh, I'm not really looking forward to this. Once again, it's impossible to open. Okay, good thing I got my knife. This is just, this is just, oh, I got my finger in it. Okay, here it is. We're gonna try it. I gotta get a new spoon. Now, I'm really hoping there's no fishy flavor to this because that's just not gonna be good. But I do like capers and dill. So here we go, we're gonna give this a shot. What is that? What was the thing in there that tasted like salmon? Hmm. It's honestly, it's not bad. I thought it was gonna be horrible. I'd be really good. Like if you put this on a bagel with some actual salmon, super good. Wow. Like it sounded awful to me. It did, it sounded awful, but it's actually really good. Wow, well done. Well done. Plant-based, dairy-free. Very processed, as all the plant-based things can be. Okay, and this is a new cheese, Rutland Red. Let's see if it's good. Rutland Red. I like the rind already. I can I judge a tree by a tree. <laughs> I judge a cheese by its rind. I need a nap, I need a nap. I had some friends over for a barbecue last night and then had a glass of wine too many. And now I'm exhausted because I went to my workout class still and I'm just very tired. Um. Okay, so. Oh, that smells like a it's kind of a stinkier cheese. Or it's the vegan salmon esque bread on my finger. Hold on, let me smell it with this hand. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. It's a very subtle cheese. Really mild. Mmm. That's delicious. It would go on a cheese board. I don't know if you can melt this one. Let me know how you guys would use this Rutland red cheese. It's very good. Mild, it has like a stinky smell to it, but it tastes like super, super good. I bought more of this because this is insanely delicious. The Jojo's granola, so good. Highly recommend it, bought it last week. Um, some actual tuna. And oh, I got some of these fulfill bars, which are like secretly Trader Joe's candy bars. If you've never tried these. Um, there's this one, the salted caramel Chocolate salted caramel, tastes like a Twix and a Milky Way. Had a, a protein bar baby, and it, it's just, it's so good. They're absolutely delicious. I like to break off little pieces when I'm in a chocolatey mood. Um, I got some more jicama wraps. This is another thing I never buy, the ve vegetable stir fry, but again, it's an easy, healthy option. Help balance out a lot of this stuff that I got. I told you, don't go to Trader Joe's hungry. Lentil soup with ancient grains. Literally everything looked good. Everything. Um, another salad. This is brand new, the Harvest Warm Bowl salads. Another one of those. I am stacking everything in a very questionable way. I got some dish soap. I did need that. 
thought I thought I forgot it. Also, it sounds like I blacked out in Trader Joe's because I can't remember the things I didn't and buy. Organic radishes. Those are good. Uh, the chili's back, the organic vegetarian chili. I like to have a couple of cans of this around. The ingredients are super clean, and what I mean by clean is whoopsies. There's there's their jumpers today. What I mean by super clean is they're slippery. They're very, they're so clean, they're slippery. Water, red beans, onions, tomato paste. Textured pea protein. Oh, that's new. I didn't know that was in there. So that's kind of um, processed, but everything else looks good. There is canola oil. Anyways, I retract my super clean comment, but it is organic. Um, and it's just good to have on hand if you want to eat it because there's... <sighs> Sorry. The oven's playing some music for me. Um, it's got 26 grams of protein in one can. What's happening? Okay. Awesome. I asked my friend to start the oven and they um, turned the timer on. Apparently they don't know how to turn an oven on. That's something we need to work on. Plant-based eggs, simply eggless. This is what I'm gonna use to make my egg hash. And then I picked up the olive, olive tapenade. And this is the artichoke pasta sauce that I'm going to be putting onto the pizza. If I ever finish this haul, because <laughs> I didn't mean to buy so much stuff. Oh, did I need organic sweetened condensed milk? No, but I thought, what if I bake and I need it? I should just have it. <laughs> so I bought it. Okay. It is seasonal. Trader Joe's doesn't like carry this all the time. So just in case you need to know, they do have sweetened condensed milk right now. Um, and then apparently I bought two jars of this. I don't know why, but I did. And then I also got these, which Trader Joe's organic dark chocolate half coated rice cake thins. I use these with the hummus, the pumpkin hummus, the pumpkin spice hummus. They go phenomenally on this. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it. That is my $200 Trader Joe's haul. Remember your bags, because I didn't. And I'm gonna put all this stuff away and make some content. I'll be posting it on YouTube. This will all go on YouTube on Wednesday, per usual. And then I was gonna go on vacation starting tomorrow, but there's a hurricane, so that happened. Um, but yeah, I'll still do a staycation and then my vacation starts on Wednesday. But I'll be around posting and saying hi and what's up. So anyways, you guys have a good one. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. And um, yeah, I just, I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not, but I'll see you next week. What, wait, no, 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 no. I will see you next week. I'm gonna film in Florida, Miami. I'm coming for you, Miami.